hey guys what is up i hope guys you're extremely well in this video i will show you that how you can run multiple wordpress website in your local host so how you can do that that is actually very simple what we need to do and we have to go to this website wordpress.org slash download then we have to download this wordpress file and click download and you can see i have already downloaded so i will don't download it again uh, so after downloaded i will just unzip this file okay so after unzip the file here, here is the, our actual file actual wordpress file so just rename the file and right click and just rename the file and let's say the file name is wordpress 2 and then after renaming the, the file what do we need to do that is actually just copy the file copy the file then actually you have to go to the c folder then click gem then from here uh, we have to go S st docs then go to st docs then here we, we can see already we, here we have a wordpress file and that is actually what i am working currently and that is actually this file this wordpress file now i uh, i just on a working on another website uh, beside of this website so for that uh, i just paste the file what i just copied and yeah so the file is wordpress 2 so our previous file was wordpress but our current file is wordpress 2 this is this file we have to write here localhost what okay and here instead of wordpress we have to press wordpress 2 and enter and now you can see the new page has pop up and then we have to click continue uh then here we have to provide the database name username password database host table prefix and for, for that we have to create a new database and go to the gem and uh, click admin and here uh, create a new database so let's say the database name is uh, wordpress 2 okay uh, just click create and then back to that website let's go click let's go uh, provide the database name so what was our database name that is wordpress 2 wordpress 2 and username let's say the username root and first what i will keep blank and rest of the thing will be same and just click submit run and uh, run the installations and here we have to put site title and let's say site title name is uh, wordpress 2 or wordpress test okay and let's say the username is uh, test test 2 uh, and password i will keep that I, I, I will copy this password and then i will provide a an email then click installation and yeah so our installation is success username was test 2 and password i copied and just paste here then click login and now here you can see they have no plugins and and also there have no phase i created and that is actually completely fresh website or completely fresh local host website that i can work now and my previous website that is actually this also i can work on this website also i can work on this website at a time so if you need to work on multiple website in your local host at a time so you can follow this process if you need another website that you will work on local host then you can also follow this process so guys that's it uh, thank you for watching